welcome back student to the second video and this video is the continuation of the last video on fisher projection and this will be the last video of this week because i'll no longer take any classes for this week coming week i'll take new classes on the new chapters on chiral reactions and asymmetric reactions stereoselective reactions and other things chiral modification now suppose randomly someone has given you a 2d molecule and they told you to show the fisher projection and the enantiomer and now that you know every aspects of fisher projection and rns notation of C under cip rule so what you'll do you write ch3 here the carbon chain is this one then you write c oh h and c you just draw randomly h c l and c h 2 c h 3 so this is the fisher projection or fisher diagram the fisher projection or fisher diagram of the above molecule now you want to do a 2d molecule of this as per fisher projection this is fisher projection and now you are doing 2d this is the 2d molecule from 2d molecule fisher is given stereochemical information in 2d format only but with ways and dash diagram so it will be h oh sorry it is OH, H, then H, Cl, CH2, CH3. So now this molecule, the enantiomer will be CH3, CH2, CH3, then H, OH. Cl H. So what is this configuration? This is S, but it is R configuration, and this is rotating like this. It is anti-clockwise. It is also R configuration, and this will be O H. This is R, but it will be S configuration let me see this obviously this if this is r this will be s let me see this one going like this clockwise and it will be counterclockwise so s configuration so hopefully you have understood all the aspects of fisher projection so next class we'll meet again